All right, we're in this first dungeon. Let's continue. And if you're watching on YouTube later, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> slash clicking, whatever you do. <laughs> I'm worried that I might need a shield, but let's let's just hope that I don't I don't need one. I'm gonna remain optimistic. That one is not required. I don't have to answer this, but how did I make an animated BRB screen? It's uh I coded it myself. It's an application that runs on the web page. And then I just trigger layouts when I need them by pressing a button. Oh shit. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> I flicked to bring the sword out and Link just decided to go back down. I forget if these things give seeds. I don't think they do. Says. It follows your sword, so hang on. Do I just have to make it dizzy? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's, it's an old Zelda thing. He who descended from the sky, lend your ear to the wise wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Wait, what? Lend your ear to the wise voice of the servant who brought you to the firm soil. Okay. Gotta get this. Trying to do a roll. That is frightening. I don't want I don't want to take a hit.
because it's probably going to take two hearts away from me. <laughs> That is one thing that I am enjoying about this right now, is just the fact that that does so much damage when it never used to, so that is it's quite good. Done with the math revision. All right, no worries, Silver Dirt. Well, thanks for uh, popping in for the chat. Wait, where is this? Where is this? This is just going backwards, isn't it? I mean, I guess that lets me cut through now. But hold on, where? No, this is something else. What is this? Oh, no, it is. It's just cutting through. Okay. Alright, so it's just, I guess, an easy way to get back into this room. It feels so much lighter than what it is. But I guess that's the good thing now, is like... It's not later. I can still go for a few more hours. Just drinking water. Okay, we are going this way. No, it's unlocked. Uh Okay, I remember these spiders being a pain. You have to hit their bellies, right? Whoops. Why didn't that slice that? Okay, I need to be careful. Or is this a shield bash thing? Oh, I remember this being infuriating. Hang on. No. It's not that. Okay. Don't don't waste energy. That's what we want. Okay. Back. Forth. Back. Forth. Ugh. 
Motion controls, please. No. Ah. Damn it. I'll try again. Hello, Gami. How's it going? How's your evening so far? Okay, hold up. Try again. There. This should be good. I mean, otherwise, why don't I just do a reverse, like... Okay, that works. Alright, that's gone. Yeah, this is loud, Link, so Lank is, Lank is gonna... ...be very loud and obnoxious. Okay, hold on. That's that one. Do good, how am I? Doing alright. Just kicking back. Glad, uh... Daylight savings is over, so I got more sleep today. Okay. The thing is, I don't remember how to murder these things. Can I name myself Lincoln? I mean, I usually go with a bastardization with one letter. Or, like, if you were to combine Lincoln shambles. So like, lunk, lank, lonk, or double E, and then the, the one that ends in ulz variant of it. Uh, how about linkles? I've used linkles. I believe I'm up to Lunkles. Like L double O Lunkles. In a room with two glittering gemstones, you will find the temple map. Gaze upon that map until your eye finds the X, for it is there you must strike another gemstone to reveal the path. Okay. I do remember this was annoying and cryptic. And I'll say again, if I got stuck, you can backseat on, on this playthrough. Because, uh, yeah, I've played this game before. I've done my blind playthrough. This is hero mode. This is just... I'm going to inflict suffering on myself, so just for the sake of playing these games in order, I'm playing it again. The Warrior game and voice was great, enjoyed that. Yeah, well I'm paying for it today. My voice does hurt a little bit, so I'm not doing it for a while. I did it for two and a half hours. You have established a map of this area, you can- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No beacons, I know. What is it trying to point out? WarioWare is always a fun time, and I have always wanted to play Gold, I just couldn't really think of a time to squeeze it in, and then I thought, oh, you know what? April Fools, yeah, I'll just, I'll do it for April Fools. But, you know, that, that gives you a taste of what I used to do 
at parties where we used to play either Mario Party or games that had Wario in them, and I could pick Wario. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I could keep it up for quite some time. And for this, I got, a uh, like a VTuber app. A free one. I didn't pay for it, but, like, it's just, it's just two PNG images. One with his mouth open and one with his mouth closed, and I was like, okay, that should do. Yeah, that's it. And then you go. Ah, oh, shit. I was close. I had the right idea. I think it just the locking screwed me a little. I remember getting frustrated at this. Hang on. Jab. 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 No. Get back, get back, let it calm down. Can't let it swing forward too much, otherwise I'm gonna get screwed. Oh. No. There we go. Jeez. Two doors lead to rooms left and right, but they will only work when the gemstone is struck. One is above, one is below. My voice will be fine. I just, it's just one of those things where I can definitely feel it strained. So I'm not overdoing it today. I don't remember if there were heart pieces in dungeons in this game. So I don't know if I should be keeping a lookout. If anyone wants to answer that question, please do. <laughs> oh, I do remember that. Yeah, see, this is what I mean. Don't sound like Shaggy like you do, but see, you could use that to your advantage. You can make people laugh with that. Just lean into it. All you have to do is just say something semi-dirty. Like, I don't know. Like, Zoinks, Scoob, I think Rigor Mortis has kicked in. Something like that, you'll you'll get a laugh. Doesn't even, doesn't even have to make sense, just... It's the key to comedy. My warrior impression started with me saying, it's time to fuck. Makes no sense, but you know, it works. Hmm. Said one is up high. I can't get across this gap, right? So there's no vine. Hmm. 
What am I missing? What am I missing? Let me read it again. One is above and one is below. I don't see a gemstone above, though. I was thinking maybe in that little alcove there, but I don't think it's there. I'm also surprised you can climb up here. Uh oh. I got stuck <laughs> I got stuck in a loop. Maybe I, I can't do this yet. Vague memories. I don't have a key yet, though. But I mean, this is this is settled now. Oh no! Here we go. Here we go. This is how you do it. Okay, I'm with it. an exam due either tonight or tomorrow. Wait, you have an option of either tonight or tomorrow? I mean, good luck. Oh, fuck. Annoying gesture. Dude, I'm doing the jab motion and it's not registering it. It's on the time thing, okay, I got you. I don't want to chug the potion just yet. I know that might be... Not the right call, but... Limited resources. The BRB, all good, all good. Okay, second half of the dungeon. Memories. Unfortunately, I'm in I'm in the predicament where there's no heals. Uh, 
Oh, but that needs a key anyway. I do remember the item you get here. It's that fancy thing that travels, which is pretty cool. Save point. Definitely want that. Because something bad is probably going to happen with health, so just be prepared for that inevitability. Sword fight time. Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. This is where the difficulties are going to start happening. I, I, I expected that to happen. Okay, but now I have full health. So that's fine. Get more of a vet. Try now. I knew I knew death was around the corner. Okay, I'm ready this time. Two hits in the move. Alright, could have gone better, but I remember the early combat really frustrating me because I just couldn't flick the sticks in time. I did not have any of that there, so definitely a step up. <laughs> You've acquired a new item. Analysis of this object's insect-like profile and wings indicates that it can fly. After launching it, you can remotely pilot the device. Oh my god, Fee. Okay, anyway. Always prefer the stick control. I guess I was put off by them because it's just... I mean, by the end of the Wii's era, I was just tired of games using motion controls for the sake of using motion controls. There was a lot of games where I was like, come on, you could have just made this button. Like, Paper Mario was one of them. Um, Warrior Land Shaker. It was just... It was exhausting. But this one... It, it does make sense, I guess.
And I think they did a good job with the analog stick translation. It just didn't click for me as well as, as, well as I thought it would. So that's why I was uh, not really open to trying it. If I remember correctly, there is something in these tunnels. Yeah, I mean, fighting Demise with analog sticks was, was genuinely frustrating. Those were the fights I did not look forward to, but I think now, I think it's going to be okay. I have high hopes. Especially <laughs> after Phantom, Hourglass, and uh, I guess to a greater extent, Spirit Tracks. It's so good to be back in, in a game where I'm controlling Link, like normal. It's not to say that Phantom Hourglass is not a good game. I enjoyed that one. But Spirit Tracks, I think they they missed the mark. I just I just cannot get over that last fight and how frustrated I got. It was to the point where I, I said, you know, if I can't get this in the next 15 minutes, that I'm just gonna... I was going to abandon it. I, I was that frustrated at it because... It was one of those things where if it was I was that unlucky, I could see me trying for like 40 minutes to an hour and I just did not want that to be a thing. Not when beating the final boss probably wasn't going to be a big deal and it wasn't. So it wasn't a skill issue of like, oh, I can't beat the last boss. It's, it was just, nope, it's just this one part that is largely inconsequential to the fight. Um... Yep, it's just, it's just janky. But, uh, yeah, I'm glad I got there in the end. Hopefully I, I wasn't complaining too much, but <laughs> I was genuinely getting frustrated. And that doesn't happen that often. Like, okay... I get salty, sure, but I don't I don't get frustrated at stuff that often unless it's just bad. And that was that was pretty bad. It's okay. Just want to explore. You know what? No, that is welcome. Thank you. It, that was sorely needed. with money. That might have been it. 
me just check. If there's nothing up here, then that, that was it for these parts. There's nothing in here. Okay. I don't know why, but I, I feel like I remember there was something at the very top. I'm going to go check, but there might not be. Okay, I could probably make it in there. Up here. Going up. There's probably like a, a distance thing. Okay, just got it. Oh, okay, so there are hearts in these dungeons. Okay. Good. Okay. Going to be vital. Alright, uh... What was the save point? I'll save it, but this is the room that I unlocked, so... anything else to do here. Okay. Wait, am I at my rupee limit already? Am I at my rupee limit already? I see I see a nice round number. Oh god damn it. 
Okay, I need a, I need a big wallet. I need to find out how to find a big wallet. That must happen. Damn it. Okay, that's done. threads. That's fun. I'm just I'm I'm being extra cautious because health limitations. Weapon's cool. Ah, I missed. How did that miss? Really? There we go. a one shot. Nothing of interest here. Okay. I'm not- I'm not taking any risks. Did that take two hearts away? No, it took nothing. Okay. 
That's lenient. <laughs> That's surprisingly lenient. What's interesting is I don't have a compass yet. Where did I miss the compass? Or do I have it? No. If, I, if I'm seeing chess, I must have a compass. Day run. Ha! Ha ha ha! That's all you get for running. Oh shit! Still. What? What is happening? Why is this being weird? It's doing it again. It's doing it again. Why is it doing Is it just the controller not being centered? Yeah, there we go. Man. first. At least it doesn't drain health, so that's contrary to the animation that seems like you're getting hurt. It doesn't hurt. Oh my god. that on. There we go.
I remember a little bit more about this now. Fuck's sake. I think I just have to recenter the controller every time I jump on a rope. This is another one of these. Probably works a bit better than I remember. There we go. H is for how come that wasn't a normal key. <laughs> Why? It's you. <coughs> Look who it is. I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are, not in pieces. <sighs> not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now, and I sense her here, just beyond this door. Yes, we plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Uh. Oh, but listen to me, I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. Mm. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You may call me Girahim. In truth, I very much prefer to be indulged with my full title, Lord Girahim, but I'm not fussy. <laughs> Did you really just draw your sword? Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. She was nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Furious! Outraged! Sick with anger! This turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all of my anger out on you. Which is why I promise up front not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. All right, let's see how this, let's see how this goes. Damn it! 
Okay, hang on. Right, then down. Yep. Then across. Then across. Ah. Up. Nope. Okay, hang on. Quite the sword you have here. But also, as long as you telegraph your attacks, you'll never land a blow. Oh, you dick. Where'd my sword go? There it is. There's no healing here. Why doesn't it aim for him when I do this? How did I do it before? Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Does take practice. I honestly forget how to know which way to slash. Landed enough blows. All right, here we go. Oh, he's not fucking around. Oh, what the fuck? How do I avoid that? Ah. Uh... I can't run away from it. I'm not remembering enough of this battle. But it, it's definitely less frustrating than the first time I played it. Maybe because I sort of know what to expect, but also it just seems... I did hit him a bit more reliably. Okay, let's try again. In the interest of time, I don't mind looking up how to what I need to look out for. Okay, I mean, I just keep watching his direction of his hand. Hmm. <laughs> 
I think the strategy is just do that. get it in time. Okay, this is definitely easier. Well, you put up more than a fight. More of a fight than I would have thought possible out of a, such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. <laughs> okay. Well, now I can take four hits instead of three. It's an upgrade. <laughs> oh, I don't need to do the thing. I do remember I had to come back here for a particular reason. There will be backtracking later. This is why. Oops. 
I'm more on top of this stuff. It would appear that there's stuff up here too. Although, I mean, I'm at maximum money, so, you know, that's a problem. Okay. Well, we're good. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate it for you. And dance at the same time. From the edge of time, I guide you, the chosen one, to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. The second spring is hidden away, deep within scorched earth of Elden. The spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy tasks entrusted to her, has set out for this second sacred place. Gotta go back to the sky. Well, the surface feels very old. Thoughts on the N64 controller. <laughs> Is it Twitch yet? It says it's fantastic for people with three hands. Yeah, I agree. Unfortunately, I wasn't born with three hands. You know, it's a bit of a deformity, but I make do. Master, as I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculated 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis suggests you should take the tablet to the altar in Skylock. Doing so, a new column of light will appear. Okay. Um, I mean, here's the thing. So... The first time I held an N64 controller, and I'm pulling one out here, I have the wireless one. Um, you, you know, I tried to hold it like you would, uh, like a standard controller, right? Because Super Nintendo era and NES era. That's, uh, that's what happened. Oh, that's too bad. It sounds like you at least know where you need to look. That's something, right? I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kikui friends. It's all thanks to you. With any luck, hopefully you'll find the girl you've been searching for real soon. Take care. So, I didn't flip it upside down and try to figure it out. I just had this thing where I was constantly... I found it real... I kept moving one of my hands off the controller, so I was holding it with my right hand. And then I, I would kind of hover my left hand up. That's how I used to hold it. Um, but, uh, you know, my experience with the Nintendo 64 was very limited because I, I didn't own one. But I did play Mario 64 for the first time, like when they were doing a tour showing the console for the first time in Australia. So that was, that was really cool to experience that. It wasn't until I got the Wii where it kind of clicked how this controller was supposed to work. I got it. I got the Wii. I used the nunchuck for the first time, and then I was like, "Wait a minute!" <laughs> so I got a Nintendo 64 controller, played through uh, 
Ocarina of Time for the first time properly. And it, it just clicked because of the Wii. I was like, this is just a nunchuck now. I get it now. The point of it is when you... I think what they were trying to do was if they needed to fall back onto 2D games, you'd be able to hold it like a 2D controller. So that's why it's like that. And then for a 3D controller, it, it kind of makes sense. It's like the D-pad is never used, so you kind of ignore the left side of the controller. I think the only thing about the controller that sucks is the analog stick. It, it feels flimsy, but it is surprisingly sturdy. Um, it, I think it's, it's just a product of the 90s. It's just the first time they were trying something and they needed something new. 3D was the new thing, so they wanted the control, I guess, to feel like nothing else. But I think any any kid that grew up in the 90s and experienced that controller for the first time definitely couldn't figure it out right away. Look to the star that the bird rising heaven word gazes aims your shot there. First of all, what I'm going to do... Okay, I mean, there's, there's a way up there, but that's probably later. There is a block here. So we, we will have to come back later when we have the hook shot. Alright, for now. Right, we're, we're done here, I think. We'll do both. We'll save, and then we'll go to the sky. The N64 controller is for nostalgia. Why'd it do that? Weird. What? What are you being weird for? Okay, I'm not sure why I did that. I, I didn't do a thing, it just popped up. Anyway. For me, uh, when you're talking about controllers, the one that had the best D-pad for me is the Super Nintendo controller. That is my choice of controller if I'm gonna play a platformer. For, I guess, anything modern day, I think now the, the, the PS5 controller, I gotta say, is my favorite controller. It just feels good, everything about it. Master Link, when you hit that goddess cube with a skyward strike, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction from above the clouds. The location is marked on your map indicates a spot where I sense the energy reaction. Okay. I advise you to investigate the area around this location. We can. So... If I was to pick an ideal controller, I think I would want Something that feels like the GameCube controller when it's in my hand has the D-pad of a Super Nintendo controller and then everything else is the PS5 controller. That's what I would want in an ideal controller. I just don't know why controllers just keep trying to reinvent the wheel when it comes to D-pads. Just to be different. You like the Oculus Rift controllers. Haven't tried them myself personally. doing that thing again because the control is lost. There we go. Okay, 
What do I got? <laughs> that took longer than it needed to. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, we are, whoops, my bad. We are going, I keep hitting this. Now we are going, again, the, the control is off center. I mean, this is what you have to do when, uh... Oh, wait. You gotta do that. There we go. This is what you gotta do when there's no sensor. So far, hero mode hasn't been too bad. But I am playing a lot more carefully, so... It's gotta be like a dive and then... Oh. I'm still not 100% used to the motion control flying. Seem to get any more height than this. What am I? What am I doing wrong? It's okay. Hold on. Help. Swing it up to gain more altitude. That's what I'm doing. Oh, you have to keep fl- oh, wow, you have to keep flicking it. Oh, this is gonna get exhausting. Okay, there it is. There it is, there it is. Okay, 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 I got it, I got it. Wow. No. Easy, easy. There we go. <laughs> no! Oh shit, no. I don't have a big wallet. <laughs> I don't have a big wallet. Uh, uh, uh I should, I, I, I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? I swear, I swear if that affects my wallet, I'm gonna lose it. Okay, it's, I mean, it's fine, I'm sure there's more of them, but I think... Let me look up where to get the big wallet. I'm gonna prioritize that, for sure. Again, because I've played this already, I've done my blind playthrough of, uh, Skyward Sword. Uh, Skyward Sword Wallets. Gratitude Crystals. I think is one of them. Gratitude crystals. Yep. Gratitude crystals. Okay, so we need to do the gratitude crystal thing. That's what it is. Alright. That's what I'm prioritizing. Absolutely not accidentally doing that. Um, hold on. I believe there's something I can do here.
<laughs> the Lumpy Pumpkin. I love that name. I forget how you do it. Yeah, there we go. And then... Just keep doing it. I can already see it moving. <laughs> Physics! <laughs> Imagine just walking into a bar, not saying anything, and then doing that. Why would you do that? Get down and come here this instant. Not before I take that. Okay, good. What is wrong with you? Just look at what you've done. You broke my fancy custom order chandelier. You're going to be working for me for free until you pay off every last rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? <laughs> no way. No, of course. That's right, and I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver... My famous soup to Aegis Skyloft's Night Commander. Night Commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of soup. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup? Yep. Oh. Hey, you haven't got an empty bottle. Oh, shit. Um. Okay, I can't... I shouldn't drink that one. What is this one? That drinks eight hearts. Replenishes your shield. Okay, now we're drinking this one. Imagine drinking a potion that somehow magically fit, uh, fixes your shield. Like, how does that work? Okay, before I do, I'm gonna go save. Well, I will be back. It's just if I, if I mess it up, it's just easier to load again. Here's the hot deliver to the night commander. He wants me to deliver soup and <laughs> provide the container. Yeah, well, I mean, we did break a chandelier. Five minutes. All right, let's go. He's not going to permanently take it. We're gonna we're gonna make, quickly make a plan. Right, we're going to that. All right. If they do deliveries, you'd think they have the containers. Yeah. You're right. But this is a case of, like, we're the arsehole here. <laughs> we just... We walked into this random pub. And just proceeded to break their probably $50,000 chandelier. I mean, that thing can't have been cheap. Hoping... 
Shouldn't have prizes on this chandelier. Clearly his own fault. Are they prizes or are they decorations? Yeah. What is this? Bath? Nope. Zelda? Is that the commander? That's the instructor. It's not you. No. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Prizes? I won? What did I win? I didn't enter anything. Okay, hold on. Where is the knight commander? Aegis, the sparring master at the Knights Academy, okay. Okay. Well, we just got out the store again. Oh shit, no, 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 that's, 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 not, that's not an exit, that's not an exit. Go back, go back, go back. I won the heart piece, yeah, but doesn't that imply that I entered a competition? What was the competition? You know, it's not like these things where you're browsing the internet and then you get told that you win an iPhone, despite not entering anything. Hey. Working on it. Hmm, smells something. You know that, I know that earthy aroma. Isn't that my favorite pumpkin soup? I asked the owner of the Lumpy Pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver some for me? That's right. <laughs> Here you go. The competition was who can destroy the chandelier, and I won. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, this is the stuff. Pumpkin soup is best pipe in heart. Well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. The thing is, I feel like I shouldn't have done that because gratitude crystals. Um, I forget at what point you can start doing them. Anyway, that's sorted. Imagine that being an excuse for every time you commit vandalism or just do a crime is that you were entering a competition and that was your prize. Very sturdy iron shield, much more durable. Okay. Definitely. Gondo there. The necessary treasures. Upgrade items. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember this. Oh, yeah. Welcome to the scrap shop. Okay, uh... And we can get shields fixed. <laughs> Better. Let's take it. I forgot about this game's upgrade hey, system. Hey. Oh, I need more treasure. Okay, never mind. What about you? Okay, I need Dusk Relic. Alright, alright, alright. Oh. I'll keep an eye on it. Um, I got a new shield, so that's good. There we go. If I remember correctly, the Gratitude Crystal stuff is... I should kick that off as soon as possible.
I'm not sure I can do it yet, but I'll have to... I remember you had to go down. There was a path that takes you further down, but I can't remember where it is. I mean, I might just look it up, but... This might be it? This might be it. No. Okay, hold on. Gratitude crystals, that's the one. Lives in Skyloft in a shack during the Lost Child side quest. Okay, Lost Child side quest, what is it? Okay, immediately, immediately after we place the ruby tablet in, so we're good. It's gonna come up. Alright, cool. Alright. I do feel a bit relieved that I can not feel guilty about looking up stuff. <laughs> I've gone through the process of playing this game in a blind manner, so... This is more about getting to the end of this challenge. Hang on, I need to see Beetle. I want to see what Beetle has. Always sets up the most inconvenient shops. There we go. Thank you. Always has to make it a huge effort to shop with him. Although I think in Breath of the Wild learns his lesson. Wasn't this like okay, hang on, what was this? No, there's nothing here. Maybe later there is, but for now. Oh wait, I think I remember what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The heart metal. Okay, I have to prioritize that. How much is it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we need we need a massive wallet. It'll be a while before I get that. But what about this? Oh. Definitely. Kind kind of a shame that I couldn't. Thank you. I couldn't get that sooner, but you know what? It's fine. What about this? Sorry. Yeah, that's how we get to Beetle later, but for now. Man, that is such a tiny wallet. It's probably one of the smaller ones. Oh, this, this stamina drain. <laughs> I, I can feel it. Despite not playing this game for two years, just... 
You can definitely see how quickly the stamina drains in hero mode. I think I just do that. I thought I had to hit it again. But we're good. Okay, so after this, we get told the story of the lost child. Master, I've confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area of the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete the necessary preparations. Okay. Oh, Kukil. Yeah, I remember this. Kukil. Where could that child have gone? Oh, Kukil, where did you go? What will I do if she's been kidnapped? Oh, Lenk. Perfect timing. You haven't seen Kukil, have you? Nope. Ah, I see. Please, Lenk, won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find for help, and a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have walked off with her. Find Kukil, please. Please! It breaks my heart to think that she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Link. Got it. Thank you. Find my daughter quickly. Hey. All right. Um. <laughs> I can't remember if I have to follow the clues or if it's just straight up go there, but. Another clue. Did you hear? A child who's been playing in the graveyard went missing. Do you really think there are monsters abducting children in our little town? Uh, I don't know. Nothing phases you, does it? A child just vanished from our village. I have to say yes. Huh? What? So there's a chance she was dragged off by a monster? Let's not get ridiculous here. This monster business is going a bit far. Now that you mention it, there's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about monsters in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? I'd imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Okay, we have to go there. Um, the gratitude crystal thing is probably the most important thing I have to set up. So, absolutely going there right now. Alright, I'm not in the sky. I do find the gratitude crystal thing pretty funny conceptually. Because the way it works is you do something nice for someone and then their happiness manifests itself into a crystal form. So the gratitude crystal. But I thought of it like, you know, you do someone a nice favor and you get the gratitude crystal, and you have to take it back to that guy. Or the demon thing. But the demon would be grateful that you're bringing back the crystals, so wouldn't... Wouldn't the demon generate a gratitude crystal from you bringing him a gratitude crystal? 
So, you know, you would, you would get that gratitude crystal from the demon being happy from the original gratitude crystal. You gift them the new one. And, you know, bam, infinite gratitude crystals. Just a feedback, a f a feedback loop. I'm stealing their happiness. I'm not stealing it. It's more happiness has caused something new to manifest, you know? It's a byproduct. You have that gullible look that says, you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you, but no one can say for sure because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Well, huh? You want to know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody who's seen it left alive? Is that it? Not at all. Well, I will keep going if you stop interrupting me like that. Anyway, I saw the thing. I tell ya. There's been a big tree in the cemetery. I walked past it in the middle of the night and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest to the tree and it lit up. Pushed the gravestone and the storage shed opened all by itself. The monster went into that shed and then closed the door behind it. Which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. Okay. His name is Dexter. What is this? Is that like a reference to uh, the TV show? I mean, there's multiple TV shows with a character called Dexter, but you know. I think this is another... Hi. Brave Knight who slayed the chandelier. <laughs> Still working it off, huh? Say, so it's almost pumpkin picking season. I wonder how I'm going to lift all those heavy pumpkins this year. Hi. This is something that happens later. <laughs> I have to do this because otherwise I, I honestly... I forget what these islands look like from a distance and the general direction I have to travel in. I mean, minimap. I know the original didn't have one, but these HD remakes, man, come on. She gets it, the chandelier had it coming. <laughs> what was the chandelier doing to make it have it coming? What crime did that chandelier commit? Oh no, that totally looks like the spot where I jumped off, no. Don't ask you, I'm the one that destroyed it. <laughs> Just trying to be supportive. Uh, but I openly admit that Link is the asshole for doing that. Just walks into a pub, doesn't say a word, just proceeds to headbutt the wall until the chandelier falls down. Uh, I need to make it nighttime now. We're gonna quickly head back to our room. I mean, I do appreciate this day-night cycle where you choose when to make it nighttime. It's not something that is is forced upon you, so you can kind of relax. I'm 
I'm not gonna go too far into, uh... Doing quests just yet. The Gratitude Crystal System must be acquired. Until night time. You know, they show that on... On cartoons and games. But who gets into bed like that? Who... Dives with their whole body into bed? Is this here yet? No, okay. It's just, there's a quest. Oh. That I don't understand, that it's locked from the inside. I gotta go out the top. <laughs> Sneaking out. Well, not exactly being subtle, listen to Link. Oh, it's not making the loud noise this time. Okay. Nope, get away from me, demon cat. Oh, they can climb. Look at that. They can fly as well? I've, I've never seen them fly before. I don't remember that. Go away. I don't remember that. Okay, the one closest to the tree, which is this one, right? Is that closest to the tree? Okay, process of elimination. The cats are monstrous. Yeah, they... The fact that they're like were cats. They're adorable during the, the day. At night time, they try to eat your face. I don't know how they kept as pets. Maybe it's just one of those things that as long as they don't see the moonlight, it's okay. You have to bring them inside the house. What? It said push the one closest to the tree. And I did that. Jeez, these sounds he's making. What a stubborn fire. Okay, hang on. Oh. Apparently that's all it was. It's like a... Almost like a Skyward Strike, but not really. Okay, now, now we're good.
Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so scared? Does something happen to you? Obviously harmless. I thought maybe I could. Right. What on what does that work? Stop, please, I beg you, don't hurt me. <laughs> Thank goodness. I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you, I mean you no harm. We were just playing the Scream as Loud as You Can game. Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. I am Betro, and I am a monster who resides here in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. Please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I've felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. As you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are stuck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart more with joy than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. Oh right, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than to become a human. From the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you you had a gentle and generous heart. Will you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. <laughs> Truly, you'll help me. I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. They could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft or elsewhere among the clouds. Anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to help see them. Please solve the troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Any help you can provide will dearly be appreciated. I promise your assistance will not get unrewarded. Kill it? No, it gives a big wallet. He's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night. So I'll just hang here out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Make a wallet out of its wing leather. <laughs> Would the wings be made out of leather? <laughs> the bouncing to climb higher. Okay, for the time being, that's been set up, so... Don't you dare. Get away from me, vile demon. Get inside the house. <laughs> oh, yeah, hang on. Um, I want to see if the soup thing will give me gratitude crystals.
Uh, no thanks. Okay, maybe going back to the, uh... The pub. Is it a pub or a tavern? It doesn't matter, you know what I mean. It's dangerous at night, so be careful. This is my... Okay. It's my duty to protect the public from any danger. Uh, admirable. Nonsense, it's the bare minimum. All I need is the smiles of the people. Okay. I remember this is locked at night, and then there's a reason why. Anyway. Uh, make it daytime. I don't think there's anything else I can do. Probably next time I play this, I'll, I'll start doing the side quests. But for now, I want to progress a bit more, get some health. Uh, until morning. I can probably do some conversations to set some of that up. Hey. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. I think there might be an easy one here. Hi. What do you think about Pippet? Uh, he's nice. <laughs> yes, yes, he is. He's kind and caring, handsome and wonderful. Oh dear. I don't know what's coming to me all of a sudden. Sorry for bothering you with such an awkward question. Yeah, there's like a, a love thing here. Ah. How are things? Now that you're here, you should find yourself a bed. No, but... I swear there's a gratitude crystal associated with this, maybe. I brought the barrel. Ah. Okay, never mind. There is a love story, but I forget who starts it. Bruce. That's me. Zelda is next door. Oh, that's Fledge. Zelda's upstairs. Zelda, the bath. Yeah. There you go. How are you? Feeling a bit better, I hope? I'm afraid I've got some problems too, but you know, I try to put on a brave face in front of people. If you do that, the unhappiness rolls off like water on a Lothwing's back. I always try to keep that in mind. Maybe I should ask why. Sometimes the dialogue doesn't come up. Karen, remind me, who's Karen? Karen's not home. Just pretend to be happy seems healthy. <laughs> yeah. The old fake it till you make it. I'm gonna ask why. Why? Oh, well, you know, I just... I forget it. I don't even know what I was thinking, asking you a strange question. Hi. Uh. Hi. 
<laughs> he, he is. He's caring, wonderful, handsome. Oh dear, I don't know what's coming to me all of a sudden. Sorry for bothering with such an awkward question. Yeah, I mean, I think something's gonna happen later, but I think that's the setup is just... I do remember a love letter and you get a choice of giving it to Pippet or one of the characters or giving it to the ghost hand as toilet paper. <laughs> but I think giving it to the ghost hand is, is bad initially. Alright, away we go. We'll go back to the lumpy pumpkin. One more time and then we'll head to the new area. There we go, it's over there. Let's have a grasp of this flying. Give me the money! It's too annoying. <laughs> Thank you. It's a pretty impressive bird that could uh, get out of a nosedive like that. <laughs> ah, I see you've delivered the soup to Aegis. I'll subtract your pay from the bill of, for the chandelier. But you're not done yet. I'm already scheming about what I need you to do next. I'm gonna need some time to think, so come back later. I just worry that might need the bottle. Okay, I'm gonna make one more pit stop to buy potion, and then we had that. Twisting of the control is a little awkward. It's okay. <laughs> oh, Kuki all turned up? Okay. You were the one who found her? Nice work. That's showing them what a student at the Night Academy can do. You should go tell her mother. Yeah, I will. Near the water's edge. Uh... Hey, 
Okay. Well done. Uh, go. Hang on. I've got some new gear in stock to show you. Small seed satchel. Oh, no. I want that. How much is it? Mmm, damn it. <laughs> the look of ex just oh I see. I don't suppose you come here to see me, do you? That's true. What really? Yeah right. Like I'm gonna fall for that all line. But if it were true, that would be kind of nice. Oh I almost forgot. I still have a job to do. Do you have something? No thanks. What's with you? Leave me alone if you don't have anything. No thanks. Okay. Sometimes these conversations set up things later. Hmm. Next a dash of pepper, delicious. Another culinary delight. Ready to be savored and enjoyed. Hope you're pressing when you need help. Okay. Yeah. Phase help isn't really help. It's more pointing out the obvious. They're back to being adorable now. I have found your child. Hmm? The girl who went missing has been found safe. I see, she wasn't abducted at all. What a relief. This house near the water, so maybe this one. Hi. Ah, oh, Link, welcome. How's Pippet doing school? Nope, it's not you. Oh, right. I know what house this is. This is the house that you have to vacuum later. But hey, it's it's not using a microphone, so I won't have to use a hair dryer. Like in Phantom Out, no, Spirit Tracks and Phantom Hourglass. I'm going to check every house at this rate. Wait. No, 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 no. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. It's not here. It's, uh, it's over this side. It's this one over here. Vague memory strikes again. There it is. Uh. Oh, Link. Kikil is safe at home, and it's all because of you. I don't know how to express my gratitude. I can finally smile and laugh again. Thank you so much. See? Okay. I can't remember if I have to wait till night time. If I can go there right away, but we'll see. I'll try to go there right away. The first reward's easy, so I, I'm pretty sure I, I have what's required. Already. Oh, it's already open. Cool. <laughs> Doesn't really help when climbing a ladder. Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent. Please take this as a token of a demon's greatest, deepest appreciation. Yeah, already worth it. Okay. Still gonna need more gratitude crystals. 
Yeah, we need to do this quest because then we get the heart medallion from Beetle. And then that'll make this playthrough a lot better. Because right now there's no way to heal unless I sit down in a chair. Okay, I I think we're good now. We can we can leave. I do remember the section taking me a while, so we'll see. This is Elden Volcano. It is an active volcano rich with the power of the earth. <laughs> Approximately 65% of the region is covered in lava. It is inhabited by a large number of creatures that thrive in the extreme heat and direct flame. Please exercise caution with flammable materials such as wood and fabric. In the event you catch fire, I highly recommend you extinguish the flames by performing a forward roll or a spin attack. Concerned how much uh, health some of this stuff is gonna start taking away. Hey, hey, hey! You mess with our turf and you're gonna pay. Well, you're not. You're lead. I don't think this is one of those red creeps. Y yeah, you're right. I think you're right. No reason to scare the hair off us, though. Sorry about that, pal. These monsters showing up uh, messing with our turf has got me on edge. They show up here, and I'm gonna knock the red clean out of them. That's what I'm doing here. Yeah, me lead. Yeah, whatever, Mr. Too Scared to Dig in the Dark. Anyway, if you're looking for treasure, you should stay clear of those red guys. being way too cautious.
Once I get the heart medallion, then I don't have to be as cautious. It's just right now, man, I don't I don't want to repeat stuff. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's not go there yet. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, you dick. Just as I was about to run. <laughs> I need to wait for the next one. Is that it? No, they had... Come on, there had to be more. You supposed to be. Never seen you around here before. Well, hold it right there. Are you a friend of those red creeps? No way. Uh, you're not, huh? Well, you don't look like them, that's for sure. You're not that ugly. So, what then? You here to pick bomb flowers? Bomb what? Bomb flowers? You're joking, right? Those are them growing right over there. Pick one up. And the fuse lights. A few seconds later, boom. You don't want to stop and sniff the flower. Dangerous plants, believe me. But once you learn how to use them, they're a powerful weapon. Us Mogmas are crazy about them. You can toss and roll them the same way you do jars. See what you can do with those bomb flowers over there. Um, oh, you do know how to roll and throw stuff, right? Uh-huh. Of course you do. You can lift things up and throw them and hold things and roll them. I mean, everyone knows how to do that. Mogmas. Aren't they enemies in Zelda 1? I feel like they are. What just raises the question is what? why do they become so aggressive later? Anyway. This is a timing thing. Throw it! Throw it! Throw it! <laughs> Why didn't you throw it? Okay. It has to be like this. No, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm being stupid. Oh. Isn't that a mechanic later? No, you need to you need to get the upgraded version. Okay, okay. I'm thinking ahead. It's later. I mean, isn't that nice? They put a chair here for people that injure themselves. <laughs> okay. Nice. Surprised it didn't drop crafting materials. Okay.
Okay, hold up. There's another... the claw thing though it doesn't work i think yeah it doesn't work <laughs> lame okay ah, another stranger and you're not one of those red creeps either i swear this neighborhood's getting crummier every day haha <laughs> nothing just talking to myself hey i saw this funny dressed character go into that hole over there it might be the friend you're looking for you want to know what this kook was wearing let me see yeah, I'm pretty sure the getup was black-ish. Other than that, I don't remember much. What? Hitbox, please. Try again. How about up? Okay, I mean, there's a purpose for it, sure. Alright, leave it be. <laughs> Why is it making a sound like a monkey? to roll in there. Oh, wait, I do here. What? There you go. There's a chest. I think I... Yeah, there we go. I still don't have something to collect bugs with. Hero mode, though. Okay. I gotta go back and sit on my chair. This is this is my campfire. <laughs> They just give up here, and then they just turn around. Ah! 
Oh, I got blocked. Oh, oh no, not that, not that. <laughs> nice AI. Thank you. Link's attempt at parkour. Got it. Throw it before I take damage. It's the motion again. I have to reset. This is one of these cases where buttons would be easier. There we go. Back, hey, welcome back, Amy. That's not a wise choice. Hang on. Can I pick that up? No. Oh, there's a chair here. Okay, cool. Blessed chair. How did- what? How did that work? Curving it, you gotta curve it with the controller. It's like that. It's tilt. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Throw it! <laughs> sure. That was that was my intent. Yep. That was my intent. That's what I was going for. Oh, you can you can see how clunky this is. There we go, right in. Probably nothing important, right? Yeah. I think most of these chests are gonna be that. Okay, is there another crack in the wall somewhere? Oh. Okay. That works. How's it going? It's going well. Going well. Hello, Lich Lord. Honestly, better than I thought it would. To <laughs> for uh. Oh no. For hero mode. 
it's okay. I mean, I, I have a chair over there, so... I can't run over it. I think I just have to bowl it without... Oh, God damn it. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get in my chair. There we go. Oh, you thought that the stamina wheel was, uh, the health? No, 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 no. Does that still rise? There we go. Uh, but I shouldn't just drop down, right? Like that that's silly. Link, please just run off the edge. I took some damage, it's okay. Your brain isn't fully awake though. No, that's okay. It happens. Dude, why? Oh, this motion control shit. It's great. It's good for the combat because the combat was designed around it, but just other stuff. I just want to move forward. Just let me move forward. Welcome to the Wii era of gaming. Everything had to be motion control, even when it didn't really make sense. This is why I didn't play this game when it, when it came out. Because I heard just how much motion controls were involved in it. And at that point, I was tired of games just overdoing it with the motion controls. I, motion control fatigue on the Wii. <laughs> ah, those creeps just shimmied on in and took over our territory. What are you doing? Don't be sneak up on me like that. Huh? You're looking for your friend. Can't help you there. Nobody's come through here, though. Maybe they went up the mountain that way. Ah, I wish someone would chase these clowns out of here. No, 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 no. I'm just preparing my sword. Oh, no. Don't hit me, don't hit me. There's no way to heal. <laughs> is, is there a chair somewhere here? Back in the back. Oh, I got stuck on geometry. Oh, 
They keep coming until I get rid of this dick. I'm in a bad spot. Oh, he took out every last one of them. Do you happen to have a chair, sir? I would love a chair. A chair would be great. Can I have a chair? You're one tough customer. Thanks for all your help. I don't blame you for not knowing this, but us Mogmas always honor our debts. Let me give you something to prove it. Any special requests? A way forward. Oh right, you're trying to find your friend, aren't you? In that case, take these things. Something pretty special. The, yeah, the digging mitts. Alright, cool. But these you should be able to get to the top of that ledge right behind me. Just try digging in that hole below the ledge. You're in for a surprise. I just hope your friend hasn't been captured by those red guys. Okay, here's hoping everything's alright. Okay, uh... Wait, where are my digging mitts? Or is it just built in? It's just built in. Okay. Oh, there's multiple things in here. Kingdom for a chair. Uh oh. There might be a chair in here. This just feels like when well, I'm playing Souls games and I see the campfire. Except it's just a chair. <laughs> I wonder if they drew inspiration from that, just... You can't heal, your potions are your only way to heal. And then... Chairs as well, which I guess is the campfire. It certainly feels that way. Is there anything else in here? Oh, right, the tunnel thing. Uh, I... Alright, chat, pick a door. One, two, or three. Also, I, I drink some water. I put my controller down, so that's why I did that. I'm feeling door number two, but you know, you tell me. Ah, oh, man. Wait, no. Uh, pouch. Don't want that. Please give shield. Thank you. Okay. I'm going through the middle one. Well, well, well. Look who chose the right one. What, what did the other ones lead to, though? More ore? Huh? 
I think this definitely falls into the tough but fair. Oh, there's a save point here. Nice. Definitely doing that. The save points don't heal as well. <laughs> it's just... I think this is the way out. But I can come back down and I will. There's more to do there. Link, just dive. I don't think I'll be able to get that other one, but... Okay. Try it. Nope. Okay, yep. Motion control. Cool. Pulled me in reverse. That's... that's fine. No. Ah! <laughs> I wanted to get... It's okay. I have to go back down there anyway. Hopefully, be straightforward. Okay. No. Oh. to just walk off this edge and not do... Wait, it's not here this time. Why is it not here this time? Oh, whatever. Whoa, you scared me silly. You can't just start digging right above my head, you know? But I get where you're coming from. You never know what you're going to find when you dig. That's what makes it impossible to stop. Rupees are uh, the most common thing you'll dig up. You might even get some Elden Ore as well. Used to be plenty of hearts buried down here too, but weirdly enough, I haven't seen any recently. Go figure. Anyhow, if you run across a hole, you've got time to dig, dig, dig. Yeah, because hero mode, no hearts allowed. <laughs> They had to update the hints for this. Is that a re- that's a respawn. Uh, I'm going down the left tunnel. I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay, I think all of these tunnels is... It's the same outcome. Yeah. I picked the correct one first time around, so... Okay, I'm going up the other way now. What? I mean, I guess some of them, they're just going to be nothing, huh? Oh, you know what? <laughs> it's the explanation. Those were hearts, originally. And now, yeah, they don't, they don't exist anymore. Wow, that was... That was honestly like a Christmas miracle that didn't hit me. How? <laughs> I was right next to the explosion. 
I'm looking on the inside of these as well. There's a bomb spot over there. Probably okay. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, this time I'm happy to get that. I have a large <laughs> wallet. No, not enough time. I shouldn't have panicked. I, ha I had it. I'm kind of surprised how well that works. Okay, next one. Roll it! Oh. I'm, I'm going in there, you better believe it. Well, I messed up right there. To be honest, surprised that didn't happen sooner. Is that all of them? That's all of them. Alright, now I'm gonna look along the walls, just make sure I haven't missed anything. I think we're good. Okay. Find the exit. Nope, this was the entry. Alright, up this way. Now there's a green one. One of your people just came charging through here, dressed all in black. Is that a friend of yours? See that up ahead? That's what we call a drop dead dead end. But this character danced right over it. Seriously, jumping over a gap like that? My jaw hit the.
You, the goddess's chosen hero. Zelda is ahead. Hurry. This is just so I don't have to go through all that process. Go through this way. There we go. I don't think there's anything else. At least not now. Oh. Thought that would blow it up. Okay. Definitely saving here because this part is suffering. I mean, it was. We'll see. Maybe, maybe I'll be better at it. <laughs> yeah, no. I feel like I should just leave this until I have the, the claw thing. It's too hard. I'm not going to hit my head against that brick wall again. Ooh, I wonder how this is going to work. It's just enough stamina to get up there this time. Remember, I think this just leads back to the start, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. How far away am I from my 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 chair? Where's my chair? Chairs here. <laughs> He's panting and his mouth isn't even moving. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I should probably keep murdering stuff. Why does it keep showing me that? Maybe there's a reason why. sort of physical exertion and uh yeah I have to make a sound that's fine you don't get another one right 
Oh, no, you do. Okay. All right. Fire. There it is. What am I looking at here? Oh. Okay. before it disappears. <laughs> okay. I don't have a way to collect the bugs yet, so you know. I'll have to keep that in mind. See, it doesn't drop a skull or something. Okay. This is so weird that these ones, they're watching the hill, but they don't react to me coming up the hill. Oof. They buried it around here someplace, but I can't find it. Yo, lad, this is the place, isn't it? So, what is it they buried again? <laughs> A key. K E Y, key. They busted up the key to that door and hid the pieces all over the place. I'm telling you, one of the five pieces is buried right around here. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. That strange blonde girl in the weird clothes got taken away too. That's right. I bet they've got something really valuable stashed in there. And that blonde girl they took is probably part of their master plan too. I'm telling you, I can smell the riches from here. So what you're saying is once we do find all the pieces to the key... What do you think, ingenious? We sneak inside, take all the treasure we can carry. Hey! Why are we so worried about a key when we can just dig our way in? What? Uh... 
Just saying. You ain't as dumb as you look. Master Link, I require your confirmation on critical information obtained from that Magma conversation. My calculations agree, Master. There is a 90% probability the figure in question was indeed Del Zelda. <laughs> Additionally, I calculate there is a 95% probability that the key to this door is made of the same material composition as this mechanism that bars it. It detected objects of the same materials in the surrounding area. Ascertaining the location of these objects will help us uh, register them as dowsing targets. Right. This thing. Okay. We'll do that in a minute. Uh-oh. Move. Not smart. First try. <laughs> Who needs a dowsing thing, honestly? I don't think I can... Can I make that jump? No. Not quite. Maybe if I... Nearly. I feel like if I do that strike at the correct angle, it might let me get there. We'll see. Uh, this is the furthest point I can run across. Nice. Probably not worth it. Oh, it is. I'm sure there was an easier way to get across here, but you know what? It's fine. I'll take that effort. Whoops. Roll it again. do this yet. Something I don't remember. Let's see. Okay. Probably not. Yeah, no, it's nothing.
big. See ya. Is it is it bad that I'm doing this off vague memory and not bothering to use a dousing thing? <laughs> I mean, let me for sanity's sake, right? Okay, how about you there? There's like one up this hill, right? Somewhere over there. Maybe I'm wrong. I think this is the part where I went insane. That's why I'm remembering that it was like... It was not what I was expecting. There was one where you had to go down a slide, and then... The result is... is the... It's just straight across. There we go. Don't have, don't have the luxury. Stop going up. Why are you climbing up? Almost hit my limit with money already. It's almost worth me going to Beetle's airship and buying. Oh yeah, see this is what got me. This is kind of brutal now. You're supposed to turn left. Alright, I missed it. This is what got me the first time. How far back am I? Hopefully there's a chair there. That was what I was supposed to do, it's just I, I got lost.
Wow. Cold as a village. It has no, uh... Oh, right. I forgot about this as well. The minigame. I don't think there's anything I can do now. I might be wrong. Yeah. Hello there. Thank you for stopping by. First time here, right? The name's Tubert. Nice to meet you. I run this little game I like to call Thrill Digger. Do you like money? How about explosions? We'll dig up some rupees before you hit a bomb in this suspenseful game of Thrill Digger. Uh, let's still begin a game. Okay. This is like Minesweeper. Kinda. Wow. I just, I just got screwed. Says Okay, that's a five. Really? <laughs> How unlucky is that? I mean, statistically... Uh what are the odds of that happening? Mm. What are the odds of that happening? <laughs> Getting <laughs> fucked on the second one. And... Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna try one more time. Yeah. You know what, I'm going straight to expert. Honestly, if I'm getting screwed in beginner... If I'm getting screwed in beginner, let's do expert. Okay. So let's get one as far away as possible. Are you kidding me?! <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Three times in a row. No, nope, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm never coming back here again unless it involves... <laughs> like, I can't believe that just happened three times in a row. Three times in a row. gonna try admits it. Want some top secret info? It'll make you rich. Okay. I want my pie now, thank you. Deal. You've gotta keep it. The color of the rupees you dig will tell you how many bad holes are around you. So if you dig a rupee, there's no bad holes around. A blue rupee will have one or two bad holes. A red rupee will have four. A silver rupee will have five or six. There'll be eight bad holes. But, but here's the thing, like, the way I got screwed over, so I got, I got a, I got a rupee that had a lot of stuff next to it. So then I'm like, alright, I can't dig here anymore because the ones surrounding it are bad news. So I go pick another spot, and the, the spot that I pick is a bomb. And there's just no way for me to ascertain that, it's just that unlucky. I guess I don't have to worry about maximum money now. I just I just lost over a hundred. Just I 
It can only happen to me. this section. I can still make it if I run. Damn it. Chair, no chair. I'm not allowed to sit down here. Okay, I'm definitely saving it here because I think that's what boned me last time. So immediately, immediately turn. Okay, there we go. I'm not sure which one's correct, but we'll see how yeah, that works. Uh. Okay, I should be over there. Or not. I had it right the first time. <laughs> this is the heal mechanic. It's okay, I, I did get healed up. This is why this part was tedious, because now I have to go all the way back up the hill. But isn't this how you do it? It's like... And then 
hier. Oh. Uh oh. That's fine. It's fine. No, it's not. <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Okay. There we go. Alright, the last one. remember what the last one is. Okay, apparently underneath me. I think it's that cave I was in. Yeah. So it's here. I had the right idea, just wrong order. There we go. This definitely took me ages the first time around, so... Feels good. Alright, this is all ready, so now we go up here. Piece of cake, not that bad. See how this goes. But guess what, chat? That will have to be for tomorrow. It is that time where I need to uh, go get some sleep. I got work in the morning. But uh, I want to thank you for uh, tuning in. Hope you're enjoying the playthrough so far and. It's pretty good. Honestly, I thought I'd be struggling a bit more with this hero mode thing, but it's not too bad, so far. Just gotta get used to a couple things, and the sword combat with motion controls, I'm doing a lot better. Um, 
when the crucial moments happen. General combat, it, it's not that different. It's more the, uh, the boss fights where I need to be precise. That definitely feels a lot better, but, you know, no surprises there. Anyway, uh, we'll continue tomorrow, like I said, and uh, in the meantime, if you want to watch more of my content, head on over to YouTube, just search for the channel name over there. You'll find a bunch of stuff, including past streams, highlights, and the occasional YouTube stream. So I hope you do check that out, and if you're watching later on YouTube, thank you for uh, tuning in and sticking around to the end, and if you want to support the channel, do any of that fun algorithm stuff that every channel asks you to do. <laughs> Alright chat, I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll uh, see you next time. Take care.